Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from IIT MMS 2018, problem number 19. The problem says that let x be a random variable with the moment generating function, that is the MGF, this one. This is given, this expression. Then probability x belongs to q, where q is the set of rational number equals, there are four options. So the MGF of x is given. And we are asked about the probability that x is a rational, you know, x belongs to the set of rational numbers. So, first of all, let us define a random variable z such that the PMF z is a discrete random variable which takes the values 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. It takes the set of positive integers, it takes positive integral values. And let us define the PMF to be this function probability z equals to n is equals to. 6 by n square pi square. Now you might think, is it a valid PMF? Well, yes, it is a valid PMF because if you know this particular expression, this identity, 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square and so on is equals to pi square by 6. So basically, if you keep on adding these PMFs, you know, for every value of n, you'll eventually get 1. So this is a valid PMF and obviously this is positive for all values of n. So this is a valid PMF. So far, so good. Now, let us define another variable, another random variable. Let y given z equals to n follows normal 0, 1 by n. That means y given z equals to n. That means this is the random variable y given z, not just y, y given z. So this follows normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1 by n, remember. So the MGF of Y, let us find the MGF of Y. So MGF of Y is MY of T is equals to expectation of E to the TY, right? Now, since Y, we, do, we have to, we are trying to find the MGF of Y, not the MGF of Y given Z, but we know the distribution of Y given Z, not the distribution of Y. So we have to condition on Z, right? So this is by the law of total probability, this is the summation in running from one to infinity, expectation of E to the TY given Z equals to N, times probability z equals to n, right? This sum runs over all positive integers. Now, this part is easy. As we have already known, this is probability z equals to n is that this one, 6 by n square pi square. And this part, see, when z is equals to n, y follows normal with mean 0 and variance 1 by n, right? So when z equals to n, that means when we fix the value of z at n, y follows a normal distribution, right? With mean zero and variance one by n. Therefore, so this this one is obviously uh, six by n square pi square. This one, this probability z equals to n. And for this one, is basically the MGF of our, our normal random variable. Think about it. When z is equals to n, y follows this distribution. So at this point, when z is equals to n, this is nothing but the MGF of a standard normal variable, not a standard normal, but a normal distribution where the mean is zero and the variance is one by n. So we know that the MGF of a normal distribution, right? It is e to the mu t plus half sigma square t square. So here the mu is zero and sigma square is one by n. So ultimately this, this particular expression, this expectation of this thing becomes e to the half into sigma square, sigma square is one by n and t square. So this thing ultimately becomes six by pi square summation in running from one to infinity, e to the t square by two n divided by n square. Now look at this, this is the expression that we were originally been given this right but this is the mgf of x and we have found out that this is the mgf of y so therefore by the uniqueness theorem of, um, uniqueness theorem of mgf x and y are identically distributed right we can see that so probability x belongs to q is the same as probability x y belongs to q right now probability y belongs to q again we are using the value uh, the law of total probability because we don't know what z is taking. So probability, this is summation in running from one to infinity. Probability y belongs to q given z equals to n times probability z equals to n. So this again, we know six by pi square n square. At this part, this particular part, this is actually zero. Why? See, when z is equals to n, y given z follows normal zero comma one, right? Zero comma one by n, right? Which is the continuous distribution. When we take that z is equals to when we fix z to be n, y follows a normal distribution with variance 1 by n and mean 0. 
which is a continuous distribution, and Q, the set of rational numbers is countable. Therefore, probability y belongs to Q given z equals to n is zero. It has to be zero, right? For a continuous distribution, for a rand continuous random variable, the probability of it belonging to some countable set is zero. Hence, the entire expression turns out to be zero. Therefore, probability x is equal to Q is zero, right? This is the answer. So this is a very good problem. It it you know this is not the MGF at at first the MGF might not you know it is not obviously a known type so it's it becomes difficult. But all you have to do is this part. This if you notice this six by pi square and this one by n square this thing, you can see the connection of this thing, right? You can see this connection. And after defining this random variable z and defining this y given z and calculating the mgf of y we found out that the mgf of y is nothing but the original given expression and hence x and y are identically distributed and after that it follows very easily once we find that the distribution of y given z has this mgf then we can easily see that the probability of x belonging to q is zero right so this is the answer this is the solution so there you have it the solution to this problem See you till next time. Bye.